So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transfer your media footage from an Insta360 One RS to a MacBook or PC. In the past, I've had struggles with transferring footage from the camera to my computer, and it's really frustrating, but I'm going to show you a really simple way to do it. What you're going to need is you're going to need a USB-C to USB-C cable. You can actually use a MacBook charging cable if you don't already have a small one like this. And what you're first going to do, you're going to turn your camera on, and there's an important step before we just plug this into the computer. And this might be the reason why you've struggled in the past or couldn't figure this out. So we're going to open the camera up. You're going to then swipe down from the top of the screen. You want to swipe across to the left and click the gear icon. We're then going to check general, and then you want to make sure the USB-C mode is set to U-Disk mode. So when I first opened this up, it was set to Android, but I've changed it back to U-Disk mode now. Once you've done that, come out of settings to the main camera menu, and then you're gonna plug the USB-C into your MacBook. So there's a little slot where the SD card goes in. You're just literally gonna plug it in, plug it into your MacBook. It'll make a funny noise to let you know it's connected. And then on your desktop screen, you're gonna see a folder or file that says untitled. Yours may be different, but that's I know that that's my Insta360 camera. So we're gonna double tap that, open up DCIM, open up camera 01, and there you'll have all your files. So what I like to do when I'm importing my files, I like to keep things organized. So just for example here, we're gonna create a new folder, Insta360 One RS. We're gonna open that up. And then I like to create a folder inside that called Insta360, especially if you've got 360 files. I then also create a folder called Reframed. So then once you've reframed your Insta360 footage, you can save it into that and you can stay organized. So we're gonna open the Insta360 folder and then we're gonna drag in pretty much all the relevant footage you want. So whether you want to drag all the files in or just the relevant ones, that's up to you. Just note that the .insv files there, all the 360 files, if you have files in here that are .lrv, which you probably will have, they're the low resolution files. So you want the high resolution files, the .insv files. And all you're gonna do is just drag in the relevant clips to your folder. That's as simple as it needs to be. And remember, if you wanna grab all my video settings for your action camera, it doesn't matter what camera you've got, There'll be a link in the description to get my video settings cheat sheet and it's a one page cheat sheet that explains every single setting on your camera, what to set it up on depending on what you're shooting and where you're shooting in which environment. Hope this is useful guys, see you in the next video.